Of course, this is this is more evidence for those of you out there saying, oh, he got away with it, he's fine, nothing bad happened to him. In my opinion, this video is another good example as to why Chris hasn't got away with it. Because he's now having to rely on someone like Brendan for his salary when he clearly, 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 clearly dislikes the man. Especially the way he kind of acts and touches him and shit. It's not something that he enjoys. He doesn't enjoy this sort of humour. He hasn't really grown up in the locker room. He's not one of the boys. He's not a lad at all. So he doesn't like this type of like banter where you keep touching him, you know, razzing him and sh punching him in the arm and shit. He's not with that shit. So look at Chris Alia, the way he responds when Brendan touches him. Work. That mess. girl oh. called New York. She, was she had her own show. Yes, the she show, she the, the thing, this. Of course, I, Flavor Flav is terrible Brett, at Brett, this. Brett, uh, what's it, Brett Michaels show? Yeah. No, what I would love Rock about this, uh, Flavor Flav was like, he went up there you like that, and so all of a sudden he was like, you episode. know. It's your haircut. If you were to sing, period. <laughs> it's even hard for me. <laughs> yeah, one more time. You touched me so many times this episode. You fucking hate that. Look, listen. Brett, terrible Brett, terrible Brett, Brett uh, what's it? Brett Michaels show? Yeah. No, what I would love Rock about this, uh, Flavor Flavor was like, he went up there you like that, and so all of a sudden he was like, you episode. know. <laughs> Look at the contrast in faces. Brendan keeps doing it thinking it's funny. Like, he keeps trying to push it to be funny, right? He's trying to force the joke. And Chris is genuinely annoyed. Like, he is absolutely fuming. Like, can you just stop touching me, please, for the love of God? But in Brendan's world, that's the funniest thing you can do, is keep touching somebody who you don't want to be touched. All right? Sounds a bit rapey, but that's basically his type of humor. You know, I was only joking around, man. <laughs> like, it's like, no, you're annoying me. Can you leave me alone now? And to be honest, this is the perfect kind of um, contrast or the perfect representation of why one person was funny at a time and why Brendan would never be funny. Because Chris has always been like an, an artist, right? He's always been a little bit of a, of a, you know, of a sensitive soul in that regard. And Brendan's always been like an athlete, right? He's always been in locker rooms, a bit of a jock, a bit of a Neanderthal, hanging out with the lads. And this, is, this humor works. This humor will go down a tree. In most chasing rooms, right? Where you're constantly just poking at somebody until they snap. When they snap, it's funny. And if you guys fight, it's even funnier. He's used to that kind of humor. And now he's meeting somebody who kind of, their humor is, you know, saying stuff that's funny with their, you know, using their words or maybe using their bodies physically. But it's never never funny of like touching or punching somebody. You know what I mean? That's not what they do. So this is maybe the perfect um, example of like why one was funny at one point and one will never be funny at one point. It's your haircut. If you to sing, period. <laughs> it's even hard for me. You know what I mean? Oh, Jose does oh. that star oh spangle. <laughs> Banner, yeah. Well, the crowd going, work. woo, yep. woo. Mm. Oh, you, you know, I would. Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You did good. Dude, I would do Eric so would many do runs. This. Jesus bit. Christ, the touching, bro. That would drive me crazy. And again, I don't necessarily care, but if I'm somebody that does care, it will drive me crazy. I'm not someone that gets too like annoyed. It's like people like you know people that get annoyed by, oh, you don't say my name correctly. And all that stuff I, doesn't really bother me too much. Um, and the touch of I'm not really that bothered about either. But if you are somebody that doesn't like getting touched, you're very particular about that, and you're very clear when you don't like getting touched. You recoil. You make it clear. You let them know, hey, don't touch me. And when they keep touching you, oh. It's going to make you mad. When he did uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? He wasn't part of the guy's question. <laughs> but he just, that guy forgot him. Extreme home yeah. makeover. Yo, YouTube a new car with the fucking thing. A the, new the car! A new car! YouTube it and... I'll be and crunk, fake and sick at, for, at Stop home. trying to bring crunk back, dude. All right. Turn <laughs> He fucking despises him, isn't it? He despises Brendan. That's the life that he's living. That's the hell that he's in. He's having to rely on Brendan Shaw for a salary. Look at his face. It's like, I was on top of the world at once. I did that show Whitney. I was on Netflix. I was on you. Like, can you imagine? He was on you. You is maybe the biggest. It might be the biggest original Netflix show, isn't it? At the moment. Or no, what's the other one? The, uh, why well, I forget the other one? What were the kids? But they're hunting ghosts and shit. But you is in that group. There's probably 10 shows on Netflix that bring them the most money, right? The 10 original shows that they've made. And I think you was definitely one of them. And he was on there. 
that's a big role to land, you know? Like, not, you know what I mean? He probably had to go against a lot of people to play that pedo role. And he played it, you know, he probably smashed the... F- I, you know what I'd love to see? I'd love to see Chris Alia's fucking audition tape for you. They would never drop it, but that would be a bomber. That would be a blockbuster thing to see. Like, his fucking... Aud- no, or that would be Netflix to see, actually. His fucking audition tape for you. I'd love to see that. He's probably sitting there thinking, I'm never going to go back to the Netflix studio ever again. I'm never going to be able to go to Warner Brothers, to Sony, whatever. Like, wow. But he's not. No, Jeff is not. My new car! Imagine that's the big scan. My new car! Your, mine's better than yours. Dude. Yours is too rough. Is that a thing he was on the minor leagues, but for the <laughs> Bruins? He got hit with a skate across the neck. You don't actually have to chop my neck to tell me that. <laughs> he's so bad. Exactly. Do you think that's a CTE? Do you think that's a, like a dumb thing? Why does he do that anyway? If you're going to talk about somebody, because it's obviously a story that was um, prominent in the news a couple of weeks ago, and you know, RIP to that player that passed away, man, absolutely horrible. But you really need to like put your hand against somebody's neck to illustrate what happened. You can you can say it, you can describe it with your words, and someone could picture it in their head, and it could be still super distressing. You don't need to put your Hand up against her neck or some shit. It's so odd, isn't it? One more time. One more time. Bruins. He got hit with a skate across the neck. You don't actually have to chop my neck to tell me that. No, I want to really make it clear. Like this. that's, dude. See, you're lucky you can fight. When, man. You, do, <laughs> when you do, that's true. That's actually. Uh, I like when people do those kind of like jokey, jokey, clap back things because he's actually being for real. He actually is like thinking, you're lucky you can't fight because I'd be all over your ass. He actually is genuinely annoyed. Do the glasses like... That's sad. That's actually really yeah, sad. Yeah, super sad. Yeah. You want to see a dead body? Brendan. We didn't all grow up in like... Rest in peace, Chandler. Right. Like Getting COVID the shots, yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Wait, what? <laughs> there goes that. <laughs> I thought we were... Chris's face. It just, just went on the screen. <laughs> Do you <laughs> you know when someone tells you to smile with your eyes this is the perfect example of it because that's just smiling with his with his face or with his, with his mouth and his eyes are dead he's dead behind the eyes he's definitely not smiling with his eyes look at that yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's probably thinking there was a time when I'd, I'd be I, I should be in auditions right now I should be reading fucking scripts I should be go over. I should be going over my audition. I should be planning to produce some show or something. He's like, "Wow, wow, wow! This is my life. <laughs> this is my life." He's questioning his life choices. That's what I'm saying. Like this whole narrative that's existing. I, I understand for people that are victims of like sexual assault and shit and harassment or whatnot or the grooming stuff. It could be painful to see someone like him still out here. But I guarantee you, this guy didn't get away with it. He didn't, man. Look at him. Look at his life. This is not what getting away with it looks like. I don't care. So that's fucking crazy. And it's also interesting. I've always said this before. How did Brendan manage, right? How did Brendan Shaw manage to worm his way into Chris Alia's life? If you remember before, Chris was Brian Callan's friend. They did 10-minute podcast together. Chris was a guest on T5K a bunch of times. But when he was, you enjoyed the banter. When it was funny, anyway, the banter between Chris and Brian was legendary. And Brendan would just be lo- laughing on the side, looking like a Cheshire cat without getting involved, which was brilliant. But there was just, Chris and Brian were very close. Then the allegations go down, and suddenly they don't know each other and don't hang out with each other anymore. And now Brendan's kind of taken over Brian Callan's position. I find that interesting, how he did that. He really did... He played a long game, man, and he wormed his way into fucking Chris Lee's good graces. And now they're best of friends. Interesting, 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 interesting. Or as Brenda will say, interesting, interesting, interesting. And you've got another one here. What's it say? Another, this is a short clip. Always touching Delia. You touched me so many times this episode. Okay, it's the same clip I think I saw before. Same clip we've said before, but let's just watch it or not one more time. Because you can see him getting angry here. Brett Michaels show? Yeah. No, what I would love Rock about this, Flavor Flav was like, he went up there you like that, and all of a sudden he was like, you know, 
It's your haircut. If he was killing. <laughs> oh, did he roll his eyes a little bit? I think he rolled his eyes, didn't he? I think he rolled his eyes a tiny bit there. Let's go back one more bit. I think he rolled his eyes like so many times. They're like, yeah, and so all of a sudden he was like, you episode. know. Sure if he was killing it, that- yeah, he did a little, he did a little roly, uh, roly poly. He did the old roly, roly poly there. Look at that. He did the old roly poly. Look at them on the left hand side. All of a sudden, he was like, you know, sure if he was killing it, that- yeah, he was not happy. He was not happy in the slightest, man. But yeah, that's Crystalia. That's what you get for doing the things that he was alleged of doing, allegedly. Um, you have to kind of eat that. You have to hold that. It kind of is what it is.